Shabbat Shalom. I'm so happy to be able to be sharing Shabbat with you this morning. And I look forward to the day when we can do this in person again. May that be soon and safely in our time. But until then, I'm happy to be doing this now. We're going to begin with Shabbat Shalom. Bim bam bim 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 bam bim 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 bam bim bam bim 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 bam bim 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 bam Shabbat Shalom Hey Shabbat Shalom Hey Shabbat 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 Shalom Shabbat Shalom Hey Shabbat Shalom Hey Shabbat 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 Shalom Shabbat 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 Shalom Shabbat 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 Shalom Shabbat Shalom Shabbat Shalom Shabbat 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 Shalom Bim Bam Bim 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 Bam Bim, 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 bam. We'll continue with the song of community. Ma tovu, how lovely are your dwellings, O Jacob, your sanctuaries, O Israel. And in this time, this reminds us that we are all safe in our dwellings, which become our sanctuaries. Yes, we would prefer to be in person. Of course we would. But spiritually, we're still connected as a people. And this song, Matavu, is one of the songs that reminds us of our connectivity. Matavu, oh halecha Yaakov, bishkenotecha Yisrael. Matavu, oh halecha Yaakov, now I'm going to say a few of Birchot HaShachar, our daily blessings, and you can say them with me, particularly in the, the beginning part, which you'll recognize the Hebrew, and then I'll conclude each blessing in the English. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam who gives the bird of dawn discernment to tell day from night. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, who stretches forth the earth upon the waters. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, who makes the blind to see. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, who makes free the captive. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, who gives strength to the weary. That last one is one we always smile at when we say it, because all of us need strength, whether we're weary from lack of sleep, or, or we're weary from feeling ill, or from boredom, or from discontent. God gives us chizik, God gives us strength. And we can make up our own morning blessings at this point as well. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Who helps heal the sick Who gives us the strength to go on Who reminds us that there are blessings even in hard times We have permission to say the prayers that we want to say in the words that we need to say them in At this point we're now going to say the Shema Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Baruch Shem Kivod, Malchuto, Leolam Vaed. Fiahata et Adonai Elohecha, Vecholevavcha, Uvechol Nafshecha, Uvechol Meodecha. Vehayu hadvarim ha'ele Asher anochi mitzavecha Hayom alevavecha Veshinantam levanecha Vedibarta bam Beshiftecha beveitecha 
ובלכתך ובדרך ובשוכבך ובקומך וקשרתם לאות על ידך והיו לתותפות בין עיניך וכתבתם על מזוזות ביתך ובישריך. And I'm going to read this in the English because I always feel that this is one prayer in particular that it's good to know what we're saying. You shall love Adonai your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. These words which I command you this day shall be taken to heart. Teach them diligently to your children. Speak of them when you sit in your home, when you walk on your way, when you lie down and when you rise up. Find them as a sign upon your hand, and they shall be as a reminder above your eyes. Inscribe them on the doorposts of your home and upon your gates. Then you will remember and fulfill all my mitzvot and be holy before your God. A really good lesson plan for how are we to be Jewish. And usually it's through prayer, it's through observance of mitzvot, it's through communication with others. Right now we can still pray and the observance of mitzvot is key because what are we observing now? Pikuach nefesh, which is um, keeping safe and saving life. And that's what we're doing now. We're saving lives, both our own and those of other people. And that's something that's important to remember. I'm gonna start with the Amidah and I am going to stay seated. Um, you are welcome to stand or sit as you are comfortable. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu velohe avoteinu Elohe Avraham Elohe Yitzchak velohe Yaakov Elohe Sarah Elohe Rivka Elohe Rachel velohe Leah Ha'el ha'gadol ha'gibur ve'hanora el elyon Kom el chasadim tovim ve'kone ha'kol V'zocher chasdei avot ומביא גואה לפני בניהם, למען שמו באהבה, מלך עוזר ומושיע ומגן. ברוך אתה אדוני, מגן אברהם ועזרת שרה. אתה גיבור לעולם אדוני, מחיי מתים אתה רב להושיע, מחלקל חיים וחסד. מחיי מתים ברחמים רבים, סומך נופלים ורופא חולים, ומתיר אסורים, ומקיים אמונתו, לשני עפר, מחמוך בעל גבורות, ומידו מלך. מלך ממית ומחיי ומצמיח ישוע ונאמן אתה להחיות מתים ברוך אתה אדוני מחיי המתים. And now we sing Vishamru, the song of Shabbat, which is part of the Amidah, part of the standing prayer. Vishamru bene Yisrael et ha-Shabbat La'asot et ha-Shabbat le-dorot am-berit olam Beni uven bene Yisrael od hi le-olam Od hi le-olam Od hi le-olam Vishamru bene Yisrael את השבת, לעשות את השבת, לדורות הברית עולם. כי ששת ימים עשה אדוני, עשה אדוני, את השמיים ואת הארץ, ושמרו בני ישראל את השבת. לעשות את השבת לדורות עם ברית עולם. וביום השביעי שבת ויינפש, 
Shabbat Vayinafash, Shabbat Vayinafash, Vishamru Bene Israel at Hashabbat, La Asot at Hashabbat, Le Dorotam Berit Olam. The people of Israel shall keep the Shabbat maintaining it as an everlasting covenant throughout the generations. It is a sign between me and the people of Israel forever that in six days God made heaven and earth, and on the seventh day God ceased from work and rested. We now conclude this part of the service with Ose Shalom, our song of peace. O se shalom bim ramav, u ya se shalom aleinu, ve al kol Yisrael, ve imru, imru, amen. Ya se shalom, ya se shalom, shalom aleinu, ve al kol Yisrael, Ya se shalom, ya se shalom, shalom aleinu v'yal kol Yisrael. Ya se shalom, ya se shalom, shalom aleinu v'yal kol Yisrael. Ya se shalom, ya se shalom, shalom aleinu v'yal kol Yisrael. Vimru Amen. We now have the Torah service. I do not have a Torah here at my home, so I will not be taking the Torah out of the Ark. But I do have a Dvar Torah for you. So I'm going to read that to you now. So this week's um, Torah portion is a double portion. Acharemot Kedoshim. And so it's two different portions. Acharemot is one, Kedoshim is another. And um, normally we read one Torah portion at a time, but in a year when it's not a leap year, like this particular Hebrew year that we're in, um, there are too many Torah portions to fit into the number of Shabbatot that there are that aren't holidays. So we have to combine several of the Torah portions so that we cover them all in one year. Now what's interesting here is that we're in the book of Leviticus and um, this second Torah portion that we're doing, Kedoshim, means holiness or you shall be holy. And this uh, part of this portion is known as the holiness code because it tells us what to do to be holy, what to do to be in relationship with God. And um, the rest talks about what the priests need to do in order to lead the nation in our worship with God and our relationship with God. So um, when I was in rabbinical school, I had my eyes opened. You see, before that, I used to think that Leviticus was the most boring book of all times. Don't share that with too many people. But I did because it's about sacrifices and it's about what the priests are supposed to wear. and it's all these rules. And I would read it because, you know, we're obligated to read it and I would learn it because I study Torah, but I didn't really get into it. And then in rabbinical school, I was so lucky to take a class that totally enabled me to reframe my relationship with the text of this book. After an in-depth study of just the first few sentences of chapter 19, which is part of Kedoshim, the holiness code. So in Leviticus 19 verse 2, God tells Moses, speak to the whole community, kol adat, the whole community, and say to them, kedoshim tihiyu, you shall be holy, for I the Lord God am holy. So what's unusual here? We're used to God telling Moses to speak to the people of Israel, but we're not used to God telling Moses or anyone to speak to the entire community of Israel. That's new. Usually when it's speak to the community of Israel, it might be just speak to the men because they're the ones who 
had the vote, if there were such a thing then, they were the leaders, right? But this is different. This says, call adat, the whole community. It's inclusive. It means the men, but it means the women, and it means the children. Everyone is included in the term community, and that's pretty radical. Now, the biblical scholar Jacob Milgram wrote that this is the only place in the entire book of Leviticus where the term eda, meaning community, um, occurs. And it occurs in what he calls, um, it, let me miss, I misspoke, let me re-say that. It's the only place where the term eda, or community, occurs in what's known as a commission speech, which is a speech with instructions that are to be heard by every responsible Israelite. And that in itself is enough to show the importance of this term community. Other commission speeches include, um, that include Ada or another, another form of the word Adat occur in two places in the book of Exodus. One is regarding the preparation of the Paschal sacrifice in Exodus chapter 12, right before the 12th plague and then before we leave slavery, before we leave Egypt. And then there's another time in Exodus chapter 35 um, when we're told about how to assemble the building materials for the tabernacle, for the Mishkan. So they don't happen that often. So for the term Eda to happen here and to mean everybody, that's big. So Milgram goes on to say that the word Eda unambiguously means the entire people of Israel. Its unique placement here in this chapter underscores the importance of the prescriptions that follow. They are quintessentially the means by which Israel can become a holy nation. And the verse continues, and you, Moses, will say to them, you, meaning all of you in the plural, shall be holy, for I, Adonai your God, am holy. So why are we to be holy? Because God is holy. Yes, but what does that mean? We already know that the command to holiness for the people of Israel is an inclusive one because that command is given to everyone. And the commandments that come after that, commandments that tell us how to behave in order to be holy, like keeping Shabbat, honoring one's parents, don't worship idols, these are also given to us as a group. And the verbs that are used are in the plural, so it's to all of us. Now, one might think that such important commandments would be addressed to one single person at a time, or if in the plural, then to small groups of people, not to everybody, the whole community, all the people of Israel all at once. Research suggests that the commandments are written this way to show that any Jew can attain the highest principles of Judaism. Any Jew can observe the mitzvot, the commandments, and strive for daily holiness. That's nicely egalitarian. So the Parsha begins, Kedoshim Tehi you, in the plural, you shall be holy. One way to emulate God, emulate God is to be holy like God. How? We act in holy ways by fulfilling mitzvot that encourages and encourage godliness in the world. Our Parsha our readings this Shabbat bring us a little closer to figuring out how to do that through inclusion and equality and the equal opportunity commission of mitzvot. In some ways, it feels kind of strange reading all this regular, regular stuff, right? All the regular Torah readings at this time and what we're supposed to be doing. But on the other hand, what better time to learn about what the Torah says and what it reminds us to do, then at a time like this where we're feeling unanchored, we're feeling disconnected, we're feeling a little, do I go this way, do I go that way? What do I really do? And this reminds us that we are a holy people. Each of us individually are holy. We have individual relationships with God and we're commanded to live out this godliness in our lives which means right now staying in our rooms or in our houses. It means calling people who might not have anyone to talk to. It means praying through video. 
until we can meet again. It means continuing our life, the lives that God gave us, in the best way that we can until we can get back to whatever is considered normal or the new normal. Because that is what it will be, isn't it? It will be a new normal. At this time, we're going to sing the Misha Berach, the uh, prayer for healing. So I want to take a moment and think about those who are ill, those who could use blessings for healing. Think about all those who are on the front lines and are risking their lives so that we can live ours. The healers, the doctors, the nurses, the therapists, the pharmacists, the people in the supermarket, all of those people who are risking their lives to help us. We want to wish them strength, the caregivers who are still caring for people. So let's take a moment and think of those we want to turn our thoughts towards as we say this prayer. May the source of strength who bless the ones before us Help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say Amen. Mi sheberach imotenu mekor habracha leavotenu Bless those in need of healing with refua shalema, the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say, Amen. We will now turn to Aleinu. Aleinu l'shabeach l'adon hakol l'atet g'dula l'yotzer b'reshit Shelo asanu k'goye ha'aratzot, velo samanu k'mishpochot ha'adama, shelo sam chalkenu kahem, vigor alenu k'echol ha'monam, v'anachnu korim u'mishtachavim u'modim, l'ifnei melech malchei ha'mlachim ha'kadosh baruchu. Kakatuv betoratecha, Adonaim loch leolam vaed, Vene emar, Vehaya Adonai le melech al kol haaretz, Vayom hahu, Vayom hahu, Hie Adonai echad, Ushemo, Ushemo. We will now say the Mourner's Kaddish. I invite you at this time to think about those who we have lost, but we have loved. Yitkadal v'yitkada shemei rabba v'yalma divra kirute v'yamlich malchute v'chayei chon v'yomei chon v'chayei d'chol b'et Yisrael Ba'agala uvizman kari v'imru amen yehe shme raba mevorach leola molome on maya yit barach vishta bach vit paar vit ramam vit nase vit hadar vita le vit halal shme de kudisha brihu le ela min kol birchata vishirata tushbechata venechemata da amiran beyond ma v'imru amen. Yehe shalama rabba min shemaya, v'chaim aleinu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru amen. Ose shalom b'imromav, hu ya'ase shalom aleinu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru amen. This concludes our service. I want to wish everyone a Shabbat shalom, a Shabbat of love and peace and good health and friendship. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Shabbat Shalom.